All right, so now that we have our project set up, we can load in our pen image reference. So uh, let's go to create, and then here we have free image plane, and then let's go to attribute editor, and then we should have all the settings connected to this image plane. By the way, if you don't see it, and if you see something like this instead, the only thing you need to do is activate image plane by selecting it. And if you don't see image plane, maybe that's because under show, you have image planes turned off. So let's go ahead to show and make sure that image planes are turned on. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is go to image name and click on this little folder. And it, we are going to be now redirected to that same project that we have created in the previous video. So uh, this is our project. This is what we created last time. And under source images, the only thing now you need to do is transfer any references that you have. So because every time when you get asked about an image, you are going to be sent into this folder. So let's select here pen reference and hit open. All right, so uh, let's now scale this a bit more like that. If I hit space bar, we're not going to get a four panel view perspective, side, front and top. Uh, for example, if you don't see image in one of the views, that just simply means that you need to rotate it to find a specific angle you wish to see it. So for example, in the top, I would need to rotate it, but then it appears it disappears from the front. But let's say that I would like to have only front as my uh, default view for the reference, and I do not want to see it here in a perspective view. That just means that I can hum come here to display, and instead of in all views, I need to activate looking through camera and then specify which camera I want. So I would like to have front. So let's go and enable front. And that will give me only the front view. And also what we can do is go to panels and then layouts and select two of them side by side. And this will just give us a bit more room here. And also now here we are in the top view. So to bring the front back, we can come here to space bar, hold space bar. And while holding space bar, let's left click and hold on Maya and then go to front view. And there we are. So let's just rotate this, scale, maybe disable the grid. And now we are ready to begin. Also, uh, if you go to Outliner, you will find that the image plane is right here. And for now, I'm gonna delete it because I would like to show you the quicker way that we can import our image planes. And that is if we just click on this image plane icon right here, and that will give us this window. And again, just loading the reference, scale, rotate, and there we are. And again, the same thing goes to attribute manager. We just want to look at through front camera and we are all set up. All right, uh, now the next thing that we need to do is we need to save this. So let's just save scene. And now we have pen one save file ready to begin. And now what it happens is that the next uh, scene that we're going to save, if we go to save scene as, we are going to be again redirected to that same scenes folder so we don't have to search it here uh, where it is or whatnot. So we have our project set up and everything is going to be organized right here. Also in case we haven't uh, talked about it in the previous video, but if you would like to save the workspace, so for example, that we set up in the previous video, again, we just need to come here to save current workspace as, give it a name, hit OK, and yeah, there we are. And uh, maybe one also final tip is that, let's say that uh, you have a larger monitor and you don't need to work like this because for a tutorial I should work like that because I would like to show what we do here and here. But in case that you have a large monitor, you can also go to panels and then tear off or tear off a copy. If you go ahead and let's say tear off a copy, you will get a copy of this uh, view in a floating window. So if you come here and hit spacebar on perspective view, you will still have your floating window here. And if we add a cube, you will see that it will also be in this floating window, even though that it's a side. So it also may save some uh, space here. And also one thing that I'd like to mention is that we are going to work with an X-ray. So if I scroll, actually, if I increase the size, X-ray is right here. So if I enable it, we are now going to three, see through the object and also see the reference behind. All right, um, more or less, I think this is it, what I wanted to cover here, and the same thing here, just enable X-ray. 
and I think that we are actually ready to begin. So uh, let's close this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.